Who has uh, Picatinny? You have anyone have Picatinny? No one? There we go. So you can put it through there. Brandon, let's try Zuzha. You want to try Zuzha? Yeah. Okay, take Zuzha. Uh, how it works? I'm going to show you. When you're done, I've got another job for you, Joseph. Huh. Yeah, this is the thermal ghillie suits. Yeah. I don't, I, I hate to show stuff that I can't give away just yet, but I want to test it here while we're here. And then tonight when we get to work, or at least when it's dark, That's the Rhodesia gun. It's a freedom, freedom gun. FNV. Freedom. No, it's automat Svoboda. Da. Safe? Tan. Automat. No automat. Rise, O oh voices of Rhodesia. Shouldn't sing songs like that. That's got a kick on it. What are you aiming for, Joe? Metal target. Didn't hit it. Didn't hit shit. I think you're going high. I'm gonna watch high. That'll fucking punch a hole right through you. And three or four went behind you. Right fucking <laughs> through you. Let me see. Okay, that was much better. Let me see. No, go again. No. No, we've I've not had, we've I've had them before. Flash. I've Look had them before on optics where they put the dolls on the wrong way around. Someone else fucking zero it, because I don't know what to fucking do with this thing. Let's get this fucking sight done. It needs to go up a bit. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm certainly not ready to give up on it. All right, now let me find the instructions in Russian. Nahui. It's Ukrainsky? Yeah. Ukrainsky? Yeah. Oh. Yes, Ukrainsky. Okay. Like, if we were NATO, we would have lost this war in the beginning because it's like, oh, we don't know. These guys didn't know what they didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, there was one guy in fucking Hostomol. He came back after his American trainers after five days. Yes, yes, I was the grenade thrower. Maybe for the rest of the war, I will just throw grenades at them because I was doing very good. And it's like, Jesus fucking Pavlo. No, but he pulled it off, you know what I mean? I've got a zero mine quickly and I want to see the... Uh, but once he knows how to do that, if he's keen, he can teach other people. And, and through fucking a couple hundred wasteful rounds, you can train like 20 guys. Get any motion whilst you, you know. Yeah, for now. But I'm going to take it off tonight and work on the drone position yeah, with fine. it. fine, but what I'm just going to do is just give you a couple of turns. Mm -hmm. Just so it doesn't, because they rattle loose as well. Yes, yes. Recall. You shouldn't be able to undo them with your fingers, that's the thing. Bottom right. Let's 
move further back. Um, just we don't have all the time in the fucking world. Yeah. Probably works if you take your cap off. Off the... <laughs> Get that in a second. This is a little helmet trick, bud. You bring a left to touch? Right here. Right hand side, lovely. Again. Okay. Now, Mac, I need you to do me a favour. Uh -huh. I need you to go right now to that. Uh, carry it with you. Don't get dressed in it yet. Uh -huh. Can you walk out to that bush? I don't know. Straight ahead. Yeah. Straight ahead. So this is the thermal ghillie yeah, suit. Yeah. You try. Yeah. When we kneel it with the pilot. Yeah. It's off. It shuts. Yeah. But it, it stays in the air or it falls? It stays in the air. Okay. What distance? But, uh, when we one kilometer. Yeah. And uh, he flies on the earth. Yeah. Uh, it's about uh, 300 meters. Three, 300 <laughs> meters high? Yeah. We can see him. And it did, did, did work. He will think what what he can do. Okay. So we have we have something, but we must uh, try more. Yeah, maybe something wrong with it. with the uh, Juja. <laughs> oh, when you're far away, it's it's no good. This is not the way it should be. It should be it should be easier to stop a drone if a pilot is here, you are there, and then the drone comes. It should be easier because the signal is weaker. Joseph! Unloaded! Who's that? Don't shoot. No, 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 no ammo. I like Mac. There's Mac. Uh -huh. You see? Yeah, yeah. Mac, get dressed! Get dressed! Just legs. Good. Okay, Mac. Peter! Peter! <laughs> We could see you, so but, like, lump it. Ah. but if you had if you had good concealment in a good position, uh, oh, cool. like, wouldn't see fuck off. Are these bits meant to be on the inside. Inside. Right. Yeah. Let's just have the thing draped over me. But we'll experiment more. Well, it's good though. Plus plus. Adam will get one because uh, he is psycho killer, uh, of course. What do we do? Just rip up the fucking red target. No, go for the metal one, yeah? Hold on. You should be pretty much set in there, mate. Oh, Did it hit? No, you bounced off the floor in front of you. what? You bounced off the floor in front of you. You're low and left. By a country fucking mile. Sight's not zero. No, I told you, it hasn't been zero yet. Yeah, you're well low. Hold on. And it's low and left. Yeah, low and left. Oh, that hit. Did it hit? It hit something metal, mate, otherwise it wouldn't have bounced back like that. Oh. Oh, oh, nice. you are. Where did it go? Yeah. Where did it go? Right, ten, oh, eight, wow. five to eight. Run it five to eight times, yeah. five to eight rounds. Five round? Five to eight rounds, yeah. Come oh. on, send them. Come on. 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 Come
a puppy. That's how machine guns work. Давай по дереву разбирай. You happy with that, son? Always, mate. So you zeroed in for about five, six hundred. That's yours. All right. We work more. We train more. Работа. All right. You please, Mac. So far. No, was, we'll we'll get the, yours we'll get yours there. The training went well. The fact my red dot doesn't work isn't the end of the world. Here you uh, go. Here you go, guys. Bud Lasker. Jackie, bro. There we go. Uh, you have the thermal suit. Where's the thermal suit? Fold up in the back. Can we pack, repack that in there? Okay. Cool. The most important thing. Command is happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's not good enough to tell them things, they need to see it. And then they become more open to more possibilities. Yeah. Once they know that good, like a good day with a guy, they're good enough to teach other guys. Yeah. And once a couple guys start getting kills, they start having respect for the for, for the power of the thermal. Yeah, totally. Because if you've never seen nothing before and everyone says, oh, it's good. I might just, uh, you know, I don't expect you to, to buy thermals for people like me who probably won't use one. No, but you're a drone team, you're not the priority. I know. But, but if we if we can find a proper thermal image for spotting drones, because mm -hmm. we can do that with the 35 we now found out from last night, and we'll find out again tonight. Um, if I can get a proper thermal imager, it's much cheaper, and it's actually more suited to that job. First full day in Kherson, and I must admit, I'm very, very pleased. Meeting various soldiers and the command in Joe's unit. And I have a particular affinity with Terbarona, territorial defense. Quite often these guys are less equipped, less funding, less drones, less medical, it seems like they're the guys just left to hold the ground. But more and more I'm seeing in Donbass and in the South, territorial units are also participating in the assaults. It's a bit of a double standard in Ukraine. For example, airborne units will be covered by their flank by territorial units and the territorials, when it comes to doing the job, the, they're the same as the airborne. But when they want more equipment or they want to borrow equipment from the airborne, no, 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 you are territorial. And uh, this problem is ubiquitous here in Ukraine. But quite often with a small time reshala, like myself, a fixer, there's a lot of things you can do for a territorial unit with $1,000, $5,000. In Avdivka, for over the two months with Rebecca, that was somewhere around $70,000. And most effective with the territorial guys. So, as you've seen, we've worked on the range and I'm already learning how difficult it is to teach a subject that I understand, but to teach it to a Ukrainian. Um, I will secure a Ukrainian range instructor and I believe we've given six thermals today. Uh, Adam, who's a Royal ex-Royal Marine, he's been here since Irpin. He's made his bones here. Uh, he's very capable, probably one of the most capable men they have. Um, see, not all foreigners are bad, like that Joe McDonald, he's a bit shit. <laughs> I'm joking mate. Oh there we go. The acoustics are good. But the point is to teach them. And when they can learn and they can become enthusiastic, they can explain that in their own language. And I don't mean just Ukrainian. And then that will spread in the unit with enthusiasm like cancer, like the plague. Enthusiasm can spread like the plague. But Quite often in Ukraine, maybe it's post-Soviet, maybe it's because it's third world. 
or they didn't have the opportunities that we have, they can't see as far, at least as far as I can. Um, and maybe there's reasons for that because they've suffered more than me, but they, they need to see it in their hand. They need to see how it works and then they can imagine. That's Maybe that's what was robbed with them. And I, I don't mean to offend Eastern European people, my friends. Quite often there's a lack of imagination. Maybe Lenin ripped that out of their souls. I wonder how many generations that will take to get back. I'm no one to say, and I certainly talk a lot of shit, but that's quite often the case here in Ukraine. To get anybody excited, we have to do something very, very good and then continue to do good. Because if we fail, the relationship will survive, but you cannot fail the first time. But so far we've done very, very well. In regards to Zhuzha, um, I won't go into details, but some people are very pleased with the drone gun, some people are very disappointed. Um, there's different tactical considerations. I, I only know three drone teams, this one I just met, but one in Avdivka I trust very much, and one American Gore team. Um, the tactical considerations with drone warfare are much different in Kherson as opposed to Donbass. Um, but um, what works here may not work there, and not necessarily the hardware, just the tactical considerations are very different. So there's so much I don't know, but I didn't know about thermals. I know a lot more about generators. So I, I hope you'll I hope you'll show faith. Um, we've got about 15 thermals left with Dimitri. Two more night vision to come, and those are already allotted. I have the funding to buy two more as of now, when this when I'm recording. But I will keep just trying to buy more and more. It's becoming apparent um, to give these guys night vision too would be really something because I'm learning about drones. You can move to the positions at night in safety. They're highly valuable positions. So we should move by darkness. Anyway, I'd say maybe possibly less than two kilometers are the nearest Russians and it's a quiet night. But the boys killed two tonight, or at least wounded them very, very, very badly. So, I must admit, all in all, I've not seen much here yet, but it seems a lot more, it seems a lot safer, definitely, than a trench, but safer than a medical evacuation. Until it's not. But I'm very, very pleased what we've accomplished here so far. Thanks for everybody for having my back. And, uh, these 35 mil thermoscopes they're pretty good too for spotting drones just fly like a firefly in the distance so I must also look into thermal imagers not scopes they're cheaper uh, than a reticle scope they always have been and they could very much well be better for, suited for the task of spotting enemy drones so pretty happy with the thermals and you know what so are the boys but it's going to require a lot more work <laughs>